I'm Diana from BeMommyWithStyle.com and welcome to the vlog. So today we're going to be checking out my brand new Level 8 luggage. I'm going to be sharing with you some retreat prep and I am so excited to be headed back to Walt Disney World. But this time for something extra special, the Spark and Inspire Retreat. It's going to be a gathering of content creators. We're going to be creating content together. And this is the first time we've ever tried anything like this at all. So it's very exciting. So I have been using Level 8 luggage from Amazon for quite a number of years at this point. And this one's really cool because it actually zips open and you can put a laptop and electronics right in the front of it. It's also carry-on size. So these have been on a ton of trips. And this hard-sided luggage is great for a medium size that I could bring for a little bit longer trip or when I'm on one of my solo trips to go to Walt Disney World. But Level 8 reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out this gray set. I said yes because it is a matching set of three pieces this super durable hard side and we're gonna open it up today as a part of my retreat prep I'm gonna share what I'm packing for the retreat how I'm planning for this little bit of a different event and answer some questions about it as well Here's the Grace luggage in the blue. It's in a 20 inch, 24 inch, and 28 inch set. And I love that all three pieces have these extra durable corners on them. So when you do a lot of air flight, like I do, those corners can really get banged up. So these are gonna be super durable to be able to take on all of my air travel. And when they arrive, they just come down nested inside of each other. So we're gonna pull these open and I'm gonna share what I'm gonna be packing for this retreat when I have to change outfits a number of times and bring a number of items for the retreat itself. Here are all three sizes together and these came as a set of three. You can also buy them individually. So the 20 inch size is a carry on size here in the front. Then the 24 inch size is a great medium size. You can see it has the durable corners and the similar style to both of the other suitcases. Then the larger suitcase is 28 inches and it's a great size if you're gonna be doing a check-in and want a lot of extra space. What I really love about this carry-on style when I can just get away with having a smaller suitcase is that it actually has compartments here in the front and this can open all the way up, which is really, really nice to put your laptop and electronics and iPad right here in the front. And then it also has all of this zippered area here in the front as well too. So you can have these organizers and zippered areas. So the carry-on size is really versatile and I love that they thought about putting this front area on the suitcases because it's super handy when you just want to bring a carry-on, but you're going to have a laptop and electronics as well too. So what we're going to be doing today is setting out everything I'm bringing to the retreat. And I have a number of outfits that I'm changing between and also some of the swag that I'm bringing to the participants. So we're going to be figuring out which size I'm going to be bringing with me. I don't know if it's going to be the um, medium size yet or if I'm going to be going with the largest size. I have a feeling it's probably going to be the largest size just because I'm bringing items for other people. And if you haven't heard about the retreat yet, it's the Spark and Inspire Retreat. It's our inaugural retreat and we're getting a number of creators together at Walt Disney World and we're going to go create content together, refresh, renew, grow, share tips, and it should be a really great time. So I'm going from my Disney website momswithmonsters.com and a couple of my friends that also have Disney websites are the co-hosts of it and we're really looking forward to connecting with everyone because we actually met at Walt Disney World about a year and a half ago now. We were at a conference and that conference has paused so that conference didn't come back for 2024 and hopefully we'll be back next year. But it was a little bit of a different environment where you're sitting in a classroom and you're learning and there were speakers and that sort of thing. And we connected afterwards and we continued meeting every couple of weeks and help propel each other forwards. We were a support system. And if you watched my video on how I basically scaled my business the past couple years, I will link that down below. It's kind of a content creator chat if you're a content creator also. I talk about how these groups, and I have a couple of them that I meet with, have helped propel me forwards, and there's such a like great little learning pod. It's just amazing. So if you can get these little virtual working groups, they're fantastic, absolutely love them. So these ladies that I met at Walt Disney World about a year and a half ago, we created one of these virtual pods, Almost all of us that were in this pod love Disney. So the Disney fans all got together out of this pod and we were like, wouldn't it be fun? Cause we had already started going on content trips together. If we open this up to like a larger group and it was a way for people to connect and then they might possibly come out of it with their own virtual pods, their own virtual working groups. So that's kind of how the idea was sparked, no pun intended, for the Spark and Inspire Retreat. And we're super excited about doing our inaugural, our very 
very first retreat next week. So I have to pack all of my items for it, but it's still a business trip for me. Like I still have to get the things that I need to get for my website and my business. And I'm still gonna be doing some reviews on food and wine. I have a whole food and wine guide that's already gone up on my website, but you're always continually refreshing those things. So I need to get some refreshment pictures of different items from new stands that are new for this year and um, a couple new treats as well too. Halloween items, of course, it's always great to get more of those. I have to get some photos for my Pinterest manager um, that she's requested. And a big thing that I do now is I share different outfit suggestions for what to wear at Disney World every single month of the year for different activities, different festivals. I just did a Run Disney Wine and Dine, it was requested, uh, outfit inspo blog. And so I'm doing a lot of those and that's what a lot of people are coming to the blog for. So one of the things that I do when I go on these trips is I bring a lot of outfits with me. So I need a lot of space in a suitcase to bring these outfits because some days I'm changing upwards of four to five times it's a lot of outfits a lot of changes a lot of photos and so I have to be able to fit all of those things in this time I'm also bringing accessories to match the outfits like purses and things like that which I do from time to time but I'm also going to be bringing nail designs for some of the outfits so it's kind of uh, exponentially growing the amount of things that I need to bring with me but it's very very fun I'm excited to share in the content creation fund with a number of other content creators that will be there and we're just gonna have a great time if you're watching this channel I did start out with Disney vlogs in this channel and obviously all my Disney stuff has moved over to Moms of Mouse ears if you've mo missed those videos about how things are changing. What I'm really considering this channel is kind of like the behind the scenes. I'll take you along for like a behind the scenes vlog, whatever I film, decide to share. I might do a couple lives while I'm there if I feel like I have time. Um, but that's all gonna be here on this channel that you're watching now. The reason why I mention Moms of the Mouse Ears is because I don't even mention actually a lot of the other brands and blogs and things that I have, but I really consider that like a sister channel to this one. And all of the dedicated Disney topic vlogs will now be moving over to Moms of Mouse Ears. So if you're a Disney person, that's originally how you found me, you may want to go check out that channel on YouTube. It's also a YouTube channel now in addition to the blog, written blog, MomsOfMouseEars.com and um, various places on social media. It's like, you know, all the things these days. But um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I've met so many great people and I'm super excited. So let's get packing and get things together to go to the retreat. So we are just going to shove this to one side of the bed and then I'm going to start lining up all the different outfits and everything I'm going to bring with me over here on this side. And we're just going to double check that I need to bring the larger size with me. So this is one of the reasons why I think I'll probably use a larger size is that I have these sets of ears and also cute Mickey scrunchies from Styla Hair to bring to all the creators that will be in attendance. So I'm probably just going to put that down at one side. These are super cute and I've done Amazon reviews on all of these, but I will give you a little bit of a sneak peek. These are some of the headbands and this is a three piece set that's really super cute. I recommend the style a lot if you're doing like a cute announcement to let the kids know that they're going. And the three piece set actually comes with the scrunchie, the headband, and my absolute favorite part, the super cute clip. Love it, so cute. This actually is like a little claw clip for your hair. So I'm bringing the three piece sets to the creators along with some scrunchies. And those are gonna go down in their swag bags. So this is what I'm bringing with me. The other two hosts are bringing some of the other stuff with them. And we're having some stuff shipped straight down there. Um, but this came to me a really long time ago, like a month or two ago. So I just been hanging on to this at my house. Um, so I'm just gonna bring this down with me cause it's not too, you can see they're pretty flat. So it's not too hard to pack. So especially if you only need one or two of these to pack for your Disney trip, it's not gonna take up that much space. So definitely one of the things that takes up the most space whenever I'm trying to pack full outfits that have even the matching bags as accessories 
are the bags themselves and a lot of these lounge fly bags have kind of a fixed exterior where you can't really squish them down. I am taking a couple buckle down bags this time which can be made a little bit flatter and I also really like these mouse bags from Amazon because they can be packed really flat so I'm bringing one of those as well too. But what I do try to do is either stow a bag inside of a bag so some of these look like they could go inside of each other or I pack my ears in a bag that they will fit in and actually carry my ears down inside of the bags I'm going to be changing into and then just take them out when I get to the resort. So just a quick packing tip for you if you like bringing the accessories that match. You can stow the smaller accessories like ears or the sunglasses will all go down inside of a bag and that way I'm not wasting any space down inside the suitcase because although the suitcase is very large, by the time I get all of those in and all of this in and all the rest of the clothes that's over to the side here, this I think is definitely going to be full. And except for pajamas and undergarments, which don't take up too much space and toiletries, this is pretty much everything I'm going to be attempting to pack. So I can tell just by looking at it that this will all fit in there and I'm going to have to use like the packing inside of other things technique, but if I like pack these bags inside of each other, pack ears inside of the larger bags, and all that sort of thing that will help condense everything down. All the dresses and everything I'll roll and, and just toss those down inside of a packing cube. And then this, although the box looks quite large, I'm thinking it'll just take up like a fourth of the suitcase on one side. But the nice thing is since I'm handing these out to people when we get there, then I will have this open space in my suitcase to bring back with me. So that is kind of nice. Uh, and then I'll have a swag bag to bring back with me, but I won't have you know, 10 of one item and that sort of thing. So I am going to go ahead and start condensing these things down. I think definitely the problem item for this trip is definitely this lounge fly bag. I love this lounge fly bag. It is so cute. But when it arrived, it is so wide. I did not realize how big of a footprint it was going to have. But I just tried it down inside the suitcase and it literally just fits. It's like the perfect fit. And so I will stuff things around the sides so where there's no wasted space like down here. This is one of those, if you're a Disney person, trash can tablecloths. Um, so I will probably stick things like that like in here to fill in all that space and also take the paper out and be able to stick things inside. Um, so that should hopefully work out. But it just had a lot larger footprint than I thought it was going to have. And when it arrived, I was like, ooh, I hope that squishes down because I don't know if that's going to fit for this trip or not. But I think that's going to be fine. So I'm going to start rolling everything up and getting into packing cubes. But this is the situation and what I have to do about, you know, four to five days before I get ready to go. I'm getting everything put together to go in the suitcase. But I actually plan my outfits for a good month or two months before the trip. So this is a lot of planning that you're looking at here on the bed. And if you have a trip coming up to Walt Disney World, I will link down below what to wear in every Disney month, which links out to all the individual months. So if you're going in December and January and February, there's outfit suggestions for every single month at Walt Disney World. So the wild thing is, is I have both two cases out, the larger one that's 28 inches and the medium sized one that's 24 inches. And actually I think if I crammed everything in, I think I could just barely fit in the medium size. But it's one of those things where it costs the same amount regardless of the size suitcase as long as you don't go over their uh, 50 pound weight limit. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack everything in this larger one and just try to stay under the weight limit. But they both have quite a bit of room in them.
Thanks again to Level 8 for sending me this awesome Grace luggage to bring along on this trip. It has definitely made packing easier and I'm going to enjoy using this on some of my other upcoming trips as well too. So you can check out the link in the description box below. You can find the Grace luggage on Amazon and also directly on the Level 8 website. There's a coupon code down below that you can check and see if that gets you the best price. And I definitely love Level 8 luggage. I've been using it for pretty much exclusively for the past couple years. The wheels glide easily. They last and they're durable and I'm excited to try out this new set on all of my upcoming trips. Thanks for watching today and have a great day.